you ready? Let's go. Welcome to We Gonna Learn Today, where we talk about black historical figures, some of their accomplishments and accolades, in hopes to inspire you to follow your goals and aspirations. By us giving you an example of someone that has traveled that road and had success doing it. That being said, our person of interest is Etheridge Knight, who was an influential African-American poet and writer known for his powerful and gritty verses that reflected the struggles of his own life. Born on April 19, 1931, in Corinth, Mississippi, Knight grew up in a poverty-stricken environment. His troubled childhood led him down a troubled path, and at the age of 16, he dropped out of school and enlisted in the U.S. Army. During his service in the Korean War, Knight became addicted to drugs and ended up serving eight years in prison for robbery. While in prison, Knight discovered his passion for writing and poetry. He devoted his time to reading and studying the works of renowned poets such as Langston Hughes and Gwendolyn Brooks. It was in prison that Knight penned his first collection of poetry, Poems from Prison, which received critical acclaim upon its release in 1968. The collection delved into the harsh realities of life behind bars, the complexities of racial discrimination, and the personal journey of self-discovery. After his release from prison, Knight struggled with addiction, but managed to get his life back on track. He became actively involved in the black arts movement, which aimed to bring attention to the African-American experience through various art forms. Knight's subsequent works, including Black Voices from Prison and Born of a Woman, further explored themes of racial identity, social injustice, and personal redemption. Throughout his career, Etheridge Knight received numerous awards and honors for his poetry, including the Guggenheim Fellowship and the Shelley Memorial Award. He also taught poetry workshops and creative writing classes, sharing his talent and experiences with aspiring writers. Knight's raw and evocative style continues to inspire and resonate with readers, highlighting the power of art to transcend adversity and give voice to the marginalized.